Greetings and welcome everyone to this very different and long anticipated in-person commencement ceremony for our graduates. On behalf, yeah. On behalf of the Bradley University Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and these soon to be graduates, I am honored to welcome you to the Bradley University 2021 Spring Semester Commencement Ceremony for the students from the College of Education and Health Sciences. I am Stephen Standiford, the 12th president of Bradley University, and I wanna say it feels great to see you all here. I so wish that I could control the weather, I cannot, but thankfully we are able to be here today despite the weather in person to celebrate with you. We have been waiting for this for months. We appreciate all of you for being here and for following the COVID guidelines that we have in place. Specifically, I wanna thank you for wearing your masks out of respect for one another. I also wanna thank you for remaining seated and not approaching the stage area to take photos. I know that's a hard one, but it's an important part to ensure everyone's safety. I also wanna welcome those who are watching on our live stream online Thank you for joining us virtually for this special event. And most importantly, we are here to celebrate the outstanding educational achievements of these students. So let's begin with our national anthem. Please stand and remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation. And now, an invocation delivered by the Chairman of the Bradley Board of Trustees, the Honorable Judge James Shadid. Thank you, President Standiford. Uh, Mr. President, I think maybe Dean Tippett should be given the invocation because uh, this morning it rained on the Graduate School, this afternoon it rained on LAS, but EHS shows up and we get a break, so thank you all. <clears throat> this past year has presented all of us with many challenges. You have found the courage to meet them, a testament to all of you, to your character, and to this university. I hope you use what you have learned here to be a positive force for your family, your community, and your country. We have much to be thankful for, and we have many people to thank, for none of us achieves alone. Your families, your friends, and all who love and support you and provide guidance to you. The administration and staff and employees for providing a healthy and vibrant environment for you to learn and grow. Our faculty for pushing you to be the best you can be so that you have the tools to seek the future that you want. And we must today say thank you to all of those and more, and all the people that made this day possible for you, who set the stage, set the table, set the chairs in the rain, 
all the volunteers, all working towards one common purpose, to give you a, your graduation. So graduates, thank you for choosing Bradley University. You are the shining examples of the university we strive to be. With that, I ask you to bow your heads in gratitude for all that we have been blessed with. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Judge Shadid. As mentioned, Judge Shadid is chairman of the Board of Trustees, and usually at this time during the ceremony, I would be introducing all the trustees and the platform party. But as you can see, we are doing things quite differently this year because of health and safety protocol. So I'm going to take just a few minutes to recognize them, and I hope you will join me in showing your appreciation for all that they do for our great institution. If you are following along in the electronic program, you will find the Board of Trustees names listed there. These folks volunteer their time and talent to lead the institution to a better tomorrow. They are pillars of society and influential leaders in their individual industries. Each and every one of them is devoted to Bradley's success. There's also an incredible team of administrative leaders at Bradley. I am surrounded by a group of people who are focused on what is best for our students and the institution. They are dedicated individuals who live and breathe Bradley University every day. Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Walter Zakaki, is on stage with me, and the rest of our team is working behind the scenes today. If you know any of these people and you see them around, be sure to thank them for their tireless efforts and devotion. I also want to thank the faculty and staff of Bradley. These individuals do more than teach our students and work in our offices. They are committed to making sure each and every student is successful. They have high expectations for you because they want you to be the best that you can be. The people of this institution, many of whom are here today, are what make it great and what sets us apart from others. I want to deviate from the script briefly and I want to thank two other groups. Uh, graduation is normally coordinated by our advancement group. In any year, that's a challenge, and it's been particularly challenging this year, and I want to give them a shout out for all they've done to make this possible. And most importantly, I want to give a sincere thank you to the friends and family members that are here today supporting these graduates and who have supported them throughout their journey. Let's give them all a round of applause and thank them for their efforts. As is tradition, I will have some words to share uh, here shortly, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But first, we have asked a student from the graduating class and a member of the Alumni Association to speak to you. I would like to invite up Samantha Phillips to join me on stage, and as she comes up, I'll tell you a little bit about her background. Samantha Phillips is from Chicago and will receive her Bachelor's of Science in Middle School Mathematics today. Her hope is to, be a, to obtain a middle school mathematics teaching positions in grades five through eight. She completed her student teaching for eighth grade at Beverly Manor School in Washington, Illinois, and her novice teaching for sixth grade in Von Steuben Middle School here in Peoria. While at Bradley, Samantha served as the vice president and president of the Theta Epsilon chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Inc. Vice President for the National Panhellenic Council and Secretary of the Theta Epsilon Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Inc. She served on the Fundraising Committee for Women Who Empower and was a Scholar Mentor for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, a member of the Black Student Alliance, member of the Bradley Student Education Association, and a member of the Illinois Student Education Association, National Education Association. Please welcome Samantha Phillips. Good evening, President Standiford, Provost Sakahi, Board of Trustees, Bradley University faculty and staff, distinguished guests, parents, and the class of 2021. Wow, what can I say? 
I've dreamed of this very moment for four years, yet I am still speechless. The truth is, I don't know if words can truly encompass what it means to be a graduate. Well, by definition, a graduate is a person who has successfully completed a course of study or training. To me, this is a very limited definition. While the definition extends to that we've perfected our craft, gained more knowledge, and prepared for the careers we've always wanted, this definition doesn't speak to the people we've become. It doesn't speak to the people that Bradley has helped make us to be. Do you remember freshman year? I remember attending my first late night BU and lighting of the bee. I remember feeling the light from the fireworks shine on my face as I stood there in amazement. I remember getting lost on campus even though almost all of my classes were in Westlake. I remember attending my first parties, pulling my first all-nighters, attending my first Bradley Student Education Association meeting, and joining all of the clubs that interest me. I remember not knowing what a gargoyle was and that Kaboom was our mascot, but somehow I was still proud to be a Bradley Brave. So much has changed since those days. We've all written our own stories. We faced challenges we didn't know we would overcome. We passed that one midterm and final that seemed nearly impossible. We did it. We've taken a huge step to becoming the people we've always dreamed of. Before becoming a student at Bradley, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. While many other middle school students dreamed of being out of school, my dream was to be in school and to have my own classroom. I knew I was put on this earth to impact the lives of our youth for the rest of my life. But it wasn't until I became a student at Bradley that I discovered why I wanted to be a teacher. It wasn't until I sat in Dr. Casimbira's History of Education class where I learned the foundation of the world of education and how it all came about. His stories are the reason I want to continue to build a legacy in the world of education. It wasn't until I sat in Dr. McDaniel's class where I learned the importance of deeper understandings and how much it contributes to the success of students. It wasn't until I sat in Dr. Rios's class that I learned the definition of advocacy and how, and how teaching a second language was possible. It wasn't until I sat in Dr. Nugent's math methods class that I learned the most effective ways to teach and assess students. From them, I learned that I want to be a teacher because I want to create those aha moments that my teachers created for me. I want to be the reason why students believe in themselves and dedicate themselves to making their dreams come true, just as all of my teachers did for me. Getting here today was a collective effort, and there's so many people we cannot go without giving credit to. Thank you, President Standiford, and all of you here today for carrying on the legacy of Bradley University. Thank you, friends and family, for being the support systems we needed to get through the past four years and pushing us to reach our fullest potential. Thank you to the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, Mr. Norris Chase, Ms. Eugenia Kyle, and Ms. Joanna Vega Rocha. Norris, I don't know if I would be standing here today in this very moment if it wasn't for your continuous support and motivating words to keep me fighting for all that I've always wanted. Most importantly, to our mothers, fathers, grandparents, brothers, and sisters, thank you for being the wind beneath our wings. Because of you, we can spread our wings and soar and fly higher than an eagle. Lastly, to the amazing class of 2021, we did it. This is our time. Go out into the world, and do all that we've ever dreamed of. Today is only the first step to achieving all of the lifelong goals we've set for ourselves.
You are more than enough, and you are worthy of every good thing coming your way. Take a deep breath and love every second of this moment. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha, for those wonderful words. We're so thrilled to soon to be identifying you as a Bradley alum. Uh, now I would like to introduce our alumni speaker, Matt Noe. Matt is the Senior Vice President of People Experience at Global HR Services at Cushman Wakefield. He is a 2002 graduate of Bradley. He earned his bachelor's degree in communication. He later earned his Global Executive MBA from Purdue University in 2017. Matt has extensive experience leading HR teams around the globe. He has done work in Latin America, Central America, China, and all over the Midwest. His duties have ranged from leading change management to standardizing processes to employee relations, and he has stayed very involved at Bradley University as a member of the Communication Affiliation Group and now as president of the Alumni Association. Matt Noe. Thank you, President Stanford. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Bradley University Alumni Association and 70,000 Bradley alumni worldwide, I congratulate each of you for your achievements. Today is a celebration of your success, and we welcome you to the Bradley University alumni family. As family, we look out for each other. You've benefited from the support of dedicated Bradley alumni already. Whether it was an alum who wrote the recommendation letter that helped you get into Bradley, one who funded the scholarship you might have received, or helped you get a summer internship, or an alum who gave back to the university by funding the remarkable physical transformation the campus has undergone over the past few years. The Bradley community has been there for you, supporting you directly and indirectly. Your time as a student has come to a close, but your relationship with Bradley University is just getting started. Regardless of the twists and turns your life may take from here, Bradley will remain a part of you. I encourage you to continue to take advantage of the network of Bradley alumni have available for you, whether it's for advice, mentorship, referrals, or simply support, there is a Bradley alum who can and will supply what you need. And I challenge you to not just benefit from that network, but to contribute to it. Give of your time, talents, and resources to pay it forward for those who follow you. Today, as you celebrate your achievement, remember you're part of a Bradley heritage that spans almost 123 years. But truly, for the university and for you, the best is yet to come. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Matt. Uh, as is tradition, I have some words of wisdom I would like to share with you. I'm going to keep my remarks intentionally brief because the real purpose of today is to celebrate you and your achievements. But I want to talk briefly about your achievements and the remarkable path we all took to get here today. This past year has been a year like none other. We have all been tested and challenged in ways that no one has experienced in over a hundred years, and yet. And yet, here we are today. Here we are celebrating your ability to rise above the challenges of the moment and to persevere. And in doing so, you are the living legacy of Bradley University. Our founder, Lydia Moss Bradley, experienced a level of adversity in her life I hope none of us ever experienced. And yet, she did more than survive, she thrived. You, we as a community have experienced a level of adversity that few who are alive today have ever experienced. And you did not retreat from the reversity, adversity. You stepped into the moment to complete a rigorous academic degree in the most challenging of environments. So my recommendation to you, own this moment. You've earned it. You deserve it. This is your unique experience, and in many ways, you are now the living legacy of Bradley University 
a legacy grounded in perseverance in the face of adversity, triumph despite overwhelming challenges. You rose above the enormous challenges of the day by embracing the challenges as an opportunity to step forward. And I say most sincerely, you are at the heart of what makes this such an amazing place. Take this moment in time and make it your own. You deserve it. Congratulations. And now I am thrilled to move on to the main event, the bestowing of degrees. Dr. Stephen Tippett, Interim Dean of the College of Education and Health Sciences will introduce the candidates. Dr. Tippett. It's a great honor to be here with you today and be part of this ceremony to honor these fine students. Students, please rise and remain standing. President Staniford, these candidates standing before you, majoring in programs of the College of Education and Health Sciences, have completed the work prescribed by the faculty and are presented for their appropriate degrees. Okay, this is truly my favorite part. On the recommendation of the Dean of the College of Education and Health Science, in accordance with the requirements established by the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees at Bradley University, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended by your faculty with all of the earned rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Graduates, you may now come forward to be recognized. You will receive your diplomas in the mail in the coming days. Olivia Diana Botico. Max Bollinger. Taylor Shea Blokel. Sophia Alyssa Bartlett. Madeline Grace Bear. Allison Rebecca and Tisdell. Mary Anna Alexander. Olivia Barbara Alleman. Rana Hussein Adbala. Samantha Moshe Phillips. Amy Carolyn Martin. <coughs> Peyton Marie Alexander. Shea Aaron Dolly. Gabriella Renee Cozon. Marin Elizabeth Collins. Johan Sebastian Claros. Alexia Cisneros. Alexandra Michelle Cipriani. Alyssa Rose Chiro.
Joseph Donald Chamberlain. Cynthia Lizette Castrianda. Victoria Josephine Carroll. Morgan Carol Carlson. Emma Eileen Cagle. Alexandra Buckley. <laughs> Lily Elizabeth Henderson. Adrian Marie Hammer. Taylor Marie Heiser. Kelly Lynn Hannigan. Mary Elizabeth Hamilton. Allie Ray Hafertipi. Heidi Nicole Goodchild. Siladi Alabihe Gonzalez. Chloe Catherine Glick. Lauren Catherine Fritz. Amy Lynn Fowlis. Megan Marie Emerson. Anita Maria Jeek. Sophia Irene Dallas. Kylie Marie DeCap. Haley Rose Kulovic. Sydney Nicole Koblitz. Jessica Marie Kleist. Sarah Frances Keller. Jennifer Marie Kaz. Sydney Ann Carbonic. Jennifer Lee Jordan. Julie Ray Jeske. Natalia <coughs> Anna Jazarbic. McKenna Elise Hewlin. Alyssa Rose Hoy. Morgan Elizabeth Howard. Lauren Vincent Horton. Lauren Elizabeth Hetzler. Alyssa Marie Herzog. Nathan Allen Nystead. Kayla Elizabeth Norden. Elizabeth Ann Nelson. Abriana Ariel Montgomery.
Skyler Suzanne Mitchell. Emily Elizabeth Meisner. Ashley Marlene Miller. Anna Riley McKay. Allison Elizabeth McCarthy. Haley Sandra Mayrens. Morgan Beverly Mammon. Quinlan May Mahoney. Tessa Kathleen Luke. Lindsay Mitchell Laquercio. Gina Marie Lombardino. Stephanie Anita Roberts. Aaron Timothy Rapp. Daniela Radanovic. Calista Margaret Quirk. Shelby Grace Puckett. Kendall Lee Prislinger. Jennifer Lauren Powell. Kaylin Diana Pearson. Taylor John Phillips. Arthur Joseph Phillips. Alexis Marie Petrella. Sarah Ann Havlison. Tiffany Obagu. Jessica Yvette Uchua. Brendan Raymond O'Brien. Christina Marie Stannis. Stephanie Rose Smith. Savannah Jean Smick. Natalia Scope. Anna Marie Sims. Catherine Elizabeth Shields. Claire Elizabeth Sheffert. Mary Claire Rose Shaughnessy. Stacia Marie Seaton. Miranda Lynn Jean Shaley. Kennedy Autumn Santoya. Olga Sandowski. Hannah Grace Ryan. 
Emily Mary Russell. Erica Marie Ruiz. Halfway. Taylor Catherine Esposito. Aubrey Catherine Schwartz. Lauren Zielinski. Sydney Ann Conley. Kara Lynn Wands. Marissa E. Wilson. Madeline Catherine Wilhelm. Claire Elise Werner. Rachel Renee Watson. Kelly Lynn Travis. Jaceline Brianna Jackson. Allison Rose Strand. Tessa Renee Stovall. Morgan Ashley Stetson. Catherine Jolene Stevens. Jenna Caitlin Fry. Faith Lamantio. Michaela Maria Richardson. Juliana Lapano. Jenna Patricia Manos. Nicole Taylor Franzak. Oops. Elizabeth Maguire Herr. Rebecca Jerry Getlin. Sarah Catherine Valentine. Madeline Renee Dola. Carolina Kozaka. Madison Ray Nagy. Nicole Elizabeth Carpenter. Megan Taylor Manst. Anastasia Hankey. Connor James Livingston. Amanda Marie Ness. Jack P. Shaughnessy. Jared Justin Gonzalez. Jacob Dennis McGiles. Christopher James Johnston. Jason James Botschweit. Laura Lynn Volpe. Morgan Sharon Gwynn. Rachel Marie Pruss. Elizabeth Ann Foster. 
Paige Janelle Mack. Joseph Robert Fishman. Sterling Montgomery Thornton. Cassidy Ray Johnson. Jim Raya Cariente Salomon. Kayla Diane Passini. Morgan K. Foley. Cody Underwood. Abigail Jordan Ganong. Uriel Barrera. Alejandra R. Cortez. Andrea Fabiola Cortez. Anais Marie Diaz. Alexandria Lauren Meister. Valerie Elizabeth Wiseman. Luis Rojas. Arsino del Real. Samantha Jean Michaud. Grace Rose Kalinka. Devasha Keoni Hodges. Shelby Elan Hardin. Emmy Ann Meyer. Nicole Angeline Parrington. Danielle Elisa Macias. Oops. Taylor Nicole Glenn. Azra Yonghua Imperial. Josie Sue Rosenbaum. Andrea Lauren Wingett. Catherine Rose Dentinger. Maureen M. Dudzinski. Abby Stein Koning. Jessica Claire Antonacci. Raven Herman. Saring Choden. Emily Grace Fertek. Zachary Robert. McAvoy, Nathan Sean Rosendale, Melissa Rose Adrian, Caitlin Denise McKeg, Claire Elizabeth Curti. Morgan Dapkis. Jackson Travis Smart III. Kyle Jeffrey Bolseco. 
Cassandra Grace Cole. Kelly Guadalupe Hernandez. Holly Christine Diatli. Caitlin Nicole Schutz. Emma Annalise Feister. Elisa Grace Vituli. Claire Angela Rose Shear. Jordan Page Kramer. Emily Reed Stoller. Amy Rose Lepin Van Geertree. Paige Lynn Katib. Sean Robert Newman. Gabriel Salvatore Holt. Megan Elise Joseph. Kaylee Lynn Lewis. Brian Jason Ortuaste de Vesa. Lauren Nicole Bell. Bridget Maureen Kelly. Kaylee Maria Maziarka. Sarah Marie Schwentner. Emma Margaret Zamuda. Cassandra Julie Marco. Aliyah Ra Rachel Spencer. Kayla Christine Huffman. As we give a moment for everybody to make it back to their seat, I wanted to again thank everyone for being here today to be part of this special ceremony. And I want to do one great loud applause for our newest group of Bradley alums. Congratulations. Boy, I definitely don't want to interrupt that, so that's uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, I would like to call special attention to our readers for today. Sometimes I really do think they have the hardest job of the day. Helia, Antola Crow, and uh, Deb Erickson, thank you both for being a part of today's ceremony. I also want to say thank you to our mace bearer and honorary marshal, Dean Cantu the standard bearer, Peyton Alexander, and today's college banner, bearer, <laughs> college banner bearer, Amy Martin. And a special, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and a special shout out to the students from Lambda Chi Alpha for volunteering to help set up and tear down this big production. If you are with the Department of Nursing and participating in the pinning ceremony, please stay seated as we will do the pinning ceremony immediately after this. To conclude our ceremony today, let me now invite everyone to stand and join in the singing of the university alma mater, Hail Red and White. The words are on the screen, or if you're filing along with the electronic program, you will find the words there also. Please remain standing until the completion of the recessional by the platform party and the faculty. Nursing students, please stay standing. Please, please stay in your seats for the penny ceremony afterwards. Thank you. 